Agamemnon Contingency Briefing, Designated Terrifier Protocol for Art the Clown. Target, a sadistic supernatural entity with a penchant for extreme violence, psychological manipulation, and near immortality. Art embodies a force that blends calculated brutality with supernatural resilience. Every measure outlined here is essential for containment. Do not underestimate him. Subject Analysis Art the Clown, known as the Terrifier, presents as a malevolent entity in the guise of a clown, exhibiting extreme sadism and cruelty. Art's approach to violence is chaotic but intentional using fear and torment to mentally and physically break his victims before delivering the final blow. His motivations are unclear, but his actions indicate a deep-rooted need to inflict terror as an end in itself. Art's capabilities extend beyond typical human parameters. He demonstrates superhuman strength, agility, and an inexplicable ability to sustain severe injuries, including decapitation and dismemberment. His regenerative abilities allow him to fully recover from any wound, effectively rendering him immortal. Additionally, Art seems to possess limited reality-bending abilities, enabling him to manipulate his environment, create illusions, and reappear after seemingly being neutralized. These powers make him elusive and difficult to predict. Little is known about Art's origin, though it's clear he isn't bound by the typical constraints of mortality. His interactions suggest a sentient malevolence focused solely on causing maximum terror and destruction. Evidence points to Art's abilities being tied to supernatural or demonic forces. He seems unaffected by pain, fear, or empathy, allowing him to move with lethal precision and unrestrained brutality. Reports indicate he's capable of exploiting his surroundings to surprise, terrify, and ultimately eliminate his victims with calculated sadism. In summary, Art the Clown is an immortal, ruthless predator with an unpredictable reality-bending skill set. Conventional tactics are insufficient. Only containment and complete isolation offer any hope of mitigating the threat he poses. Art thrives on fear and chaos. To restrict his power, the containment cell must be constructed with psychological dampeners. No visuals, no reflective surfaces, and minimal auditory stimuli. The cell should be equipped with reinforced, soundproof walls to limit his exposure to potential targets. Visual monitoring of Art the Clown is prohibited. Observation is restricted to audio tracking systems only, maintaining his isolation without feeding his need for terror. Containment relies on depriving him of what he craves. The less stimulation, the weaker his power. The containment cell itself should be magnetically sealed with argent-resistant alloys and other occult-resistant materials. Art's reality-bending abilities are believed to be supernatural in origin, and his capacity for regeneration suggests an unnatural energy source. The cell should employ electromagnetic pulses at irregular intervals, disrupting any supernatural energy buildup. This disruption field must remain active to prevent any attempt at phasing through walls or manipulating surroundings. Against a being with supernatural abilities, technology and occult resistance go hand in hand. Nothing less can contain him. Art's abilities likely stem from occult or demonic origins, suggesting he can be temporarily restricted by an occult containment array. The floor of his cell should include a binding symbol, calibrated to limit demonic or supernatural energy. This array must be reinforced monthly by a specialist in demonic containment. Should Art attempt to manipulate or break the array, an automatic reactivation sequence will trigger, restraining his movement for recontainment. Remember, a creature of his nature has likely dealt with containment before. Expect resistance. Breach Response Protocol If Art breaches containment, Initiate a rapid quarantine protocol. Automated drones with EM disruptors and occult-resistant barriers are to establish a perimeter. Art's ability to manipulate his surroundings requires complete environmental lockdown to contain his range of movement. Drones are authorized to use non-lethal projectiles to deter his progression and force him back into isolated areas where the containment field can be restored. Containment here is like fencing in smoke. Act fast and ensure no gaps remain. In case of a prolonged breach, the containment cloak team is deployed. This unit, 
equipped with occult-resistant suits and high-intensity flashlights, can disrupt his illusions, preventing Art from psychologically manipulating his environment. The team's objective is to close off escape routes without direct confrontation, funneling Art back to containment zones. Each team member is authorized to use sensory-disrupting devices to limit Art's perception. Art's power relies on fear and surprise. Deny him that, and he's weakened. Art's reality-bending abilities allow him to manipulate perceptions. In a critical breach scenario, activate the anti-influence disruption field. This field emits an occult-specific frequency designed to destabilize supernatural influence, making it difficult for Art to project illusions or distort reality. In this field, Art's power over his surroundings is limited, creating a narrow opportunity for recontainment. When his tricks stop working, so does his advantage. Strike quickly in this window. Termination Contingency As a final measure, an occult-based neutralization protocol is authorized. This procedure involves injecting art with a specially crafted formula of consecrated silver and binding agents known to neutralize demonic and supernatural forces. Once injected, the substance disrupts his regenerative ability, rendering him vulnerable. This solution is administered only if all containment measures fail, as its effectiveness is untested. Art's persistence makes termination challenging, but with a supernatural threat, sometimes the only option is complete deactivation. Closing Statement Art the Clown is more than a psychopath in makeup. He is a supernatural malevolent entity, fueled by fear and torment. Every layer of this protocol is designed to neutralize his influence and restrict his power by isolating him from what he craves most, an audience. Against art, there is no room for error. If you encounter him, follow the protocol, deny him the fear he feeds on, and avoid direct engagement whenever possible. This is the Terrifier protocol, and it's your only chance.